Hello, hello, Facebook family. How are you guys doing on this Sunday afternoon? I hope all is well with you guys. I wanted to be able to stop by and answer some of the questions that I'm getting all the time. And so I wanted to be able to let you know because I see a lot of people have requested me and interacting with me, inboxing me. And I am very grateful. I don't take anything for granted. Um, so here's me. Hello, Camilla. How are you, honey? And this is a little bit about Vanessa. Vanessa is a full-time entrepreneur. Um, she's a mother. She is um, a go-getter. She loves to help people. But most importantly, I'm a child of God. And with most often, we all are, right? We all are child of God. But sometimes we allow fear to be able to stop us from doing what we would love to do. Because somebody feel that it's not possible. And we have lost hope in ourselves, or whatever the case may be. And so I want to be able to answer those questions um, because I've been working for myself for the past three and a half years. Um, did I say it was easy? Absolutely not. Was I terrified? Yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing. I lost my job in 2011. And when I lost my job in 2011, I wasn't able to find a job two years later. But I still got these kids to take care of. I knew I had to do something. I knew it. I knew I had to do something, but did I know what exactly I needed to do? No. But this is the thing when you have power of prayer. We're good for praying for something, and we're the first ones to run from it. Yes, I said it. We're the first ones to run from it. We're good for saying we'll sit back and we'll wait on God. Yes, I said that too. Um, we're good for saying, hello, Karen, honey, how are you? We're good for saying all of these things, but those things are still leaving us stuck, broken on so many levels. So feel free to share with other people. I want to be able to get all these questions answered while I am here and have some time. Yes, I am at home right now working away, but this is the thing. When I started my business, I had no clue what the heck I was doing. None. But I know I it was possible. I knew it made sense. And I started a home-based business. And so just like majority, we're not taught to invest in ourselves. That was me. We were taught to invest in ourselves. We were taught to go to school and get us a job. Right? But now my situation has changed. Mm -hmm. Right along with some other people, their situation has changed. I hope you guys can still. I thought, hope you guys can still hear me. Um, and so when my situation totally changed, I had to be able to take a reality look at myself, my situation, my circumstances, and how long I want to stay here. And so if I'm already here for two years, how much longer do you want to stay in that situation? And so oftentimes people come to me and they want to know how was I able to have a successful home-based business? How was I able to build my speaking platform to become a best-selling author, to be a coach, to be on the radio? Because I didn't give up. So let me give you some questions, some answers. You can hear me? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. So this is what I do. Yes, I am in direct sales. That's how I started. Did I have a clue what the heck I was doing? No. Did it make sense? Yes. So I had to allow myself to be a student so I could be able to learn how I could be able to have successful business in direct sales. I didn't listen to what the naysayers had to say. I had I didn't care because at the end of the day, who business? Who's had to write the tax write off? Who the IRS is coming to? You know what I mean? Who are who am I really building this business for? Am I building it for the naysayers or am I building it for myself? Do I want to improve my situation or do I want to stay in my same current situation of pitching Peter to pay Paul? Do I want to continue to go back to corporate America begging them to be able to allow me to be able to make enough money, but then I'm taken away from my family? I've done that for 20 years. So do I want to continue to do that? No. And so what I've learned to do is to be able to help other people because I know what it feels like when people don't help you, when people don't support you, when people don't lean on you, when people don't even open up to be able to answer those questions that you do have. And that's what I'm not all about. I'm all about building relationships. Don't allow anybody to make you feel like you are another number. I'm going to say that again because people do this too often. 
Stop allowing people to make you feel like you another number. Stop allowing people to talk you up out your blessing. Stop allowing other people to tell you that it's not going to work. Stop allowing every and anybody up in your ear. Yes. Because when it's all said and done, this is your future. This is your business. This is something that you could be able to pass down to your children from time and time again that we are not taught. Why? Because, again, we were taught to get a job and go to um, school. Time has totally changed. How long, much longer are you going to continue repeating the same cycle and you continue on being broke on so many levels? I no longer wanted to be that. So now I can be able to speak about that, right? Because I have had so much success in it. And this is why I, I love helping other people. Not only so they could be able to make sure they have a plan B outside of their job and or business. But to be able to help them to make sure that if they ever don't want to go back to corporate America. That they could be able to stay out of corporate America and still be successful in their business. Whatever they choose to do. And so that's how it allowed me to be able to build multiple. So how did I go from having unemployment as they consider not an income? How do you go from having no income to multiple streams of income? Because I became an expert in being in direct sales business. But then I also learned how to be able to do more things. Walk into my purpose and embrace it. Be speaking, coaching, and now on radio, empowering people all over the world. So you telling me that the same God that you pray to, the same God that blessed me, you telling me he won't bless you? Stop quitting on yourself before you even start. Stop being skeptical and broke at the same time. Do your research. As much as you are on social media, do your research. I did mine. Do your research. And make sure that whoever you are going to work with, if it's in direct sales, if it's in coaching, if it's helping you build that business, if it's helping you push out your purpose that you see that you know you could possibly do, make sure that person has your great interest at heart. And not allow yourself to be another number under somebody else's notch. So I wanted to be able to answer those questions. But now here I am about to do some more amazing things. And this is why I love what I do because I want other people to know that it's so well possible for them too. It's very, very possible. You just got to want it bad enough. You got to be willing to do the work. You got to be willing to be able to be coachable. To be coachable. Just like you go on that job and you learn how to do that job. Why can't you not put the same work but even harder into your own business. So you don't have to worry about doing that for the rest of your life and end up at Walmart. That is not life. People are so excited to have this extended weekend, holiday weekend. But then they got to turn around and shut it down early tomorrow. Because why? They have to go back to, the, to work and to be able to go do it all over again. Start living every single day. Not just on the weekends. It took me a long time to understand it. So now here I am able to live every single day. Help people all over the world so they could be able to live a better life. So they could be able to possibly change their zip code. So they could be able to do what they love. So what makes you think you are not worth it? You're worth it. You have to truly believe that you are worth it. Don't let nobody tell you that you are never worth something. Because if God gave you the vision, you don't let nobody else take that away from you. Do not. I'm going to say that again. Do not allow anybody to take the vision that God already provisioned on your behalf. All you got to do is be willing to do the work and push, that, push your way through it to make it become your reality. I'm telling you. I had nobody in my family who has a successful business. Nobody. Did anybody in my family support me? Absolutely not. I have more support from people that I met online and offline that was able to help me, support me, and seen my vision to come full fruition. And now here I am doing all the amazing things that I love to do. Who wrote, who wrote a book? I self-published two books. Two. Became bestseller. And people love to say, oh, that's not possible or, or I can't do it. Stop living in fear and walk in your purpose. I'm telling you, remove fear off as a badge of your honor and replace it with faith. Stop saying you have faith, but you over here carrying that fear like there's no tomorrow. You could do it. I'm telling you. So I hope you guys join us up on the radio show tonight. The link I was posted earlier. It will be posted later on today. We're going to be talking about... um. 
so many amazing things, amazing things, because we want people to understand you are worth it. You are so worth it. Okay, so worth it. Don't let nobody take that away from you. Make it your business to set yourself up for success every day. Every day. Listen to me. Every single day. Set yourself up for success. Make sure you are educating yourself outside that classroom and that office. Make sure that you have multiple streams of income. The same 24 hours that Beyonce have to, to be able to be a what darn near billionaire. You telling me that you can't use those same 24 hours to make it work for you? Yes, I said it. I am not in the sugar coating business. Not in the sugar coating business at all. We all have a space. God will make room for you and your gift. But you got to be willing to put the work in. So your gift could be your reality. I'm telling you. I was afraid. I'm not a person to be in the forefront. That's not me. I'm straight introvert. But I know that I have something to give. I know I have something amazing. And I love what I do. So this is why I continue to show up. Are you willing to show up? Are you willing to answer the call that you have on your life? Are you? So if you're willing to answer the call that you have on your life, then I suggest that you show up. Stop making those excuses. Stop having fears of badger artists. Stop having other people in your ear that don't want to see you successful. And it doesn't mean that you don't love them no less. It means that you want better for you and your family so they don't have to struggle the way you struggle. I struggled for 20 years in corporate America to end up with damn near losing everything. That's a problem. I had somebody reach out to me and tell me that he worked in corporate America for 30 years and he can't even find a job. Who could relate? Me. And this is why I say the things that I say. Because I know more people are losing their jobs like no tomorrow. People worked in a, in a school system out here in Chicago. That's where I'm located. They land these teachers off left and right. The violence is ridiculous. And now the school teachers, there's one school teacher saying, well, I'm working in a daycare. What? That's crazy. So just because you have an MBA doesn't mean that you better than the next person. Yes, I said it. Just because you have an MBA or a BS, which is a bachelor's, whatever that degree may, you may have, make sure you are educating yourself outside of that. Because people who have bachelor's degrees, people who have the master's degrees, and even a doctor's degrees, are some of them, majority of them, are miserable. Don't live your life being miserable. Don't torture yourself like that. You are worth it. You are so worth it. And I'm telling you worth it. And so, here I am, working <laughs> like crazy, but I love it. Why? Because if I want to pack up my kids and say, we going X, Y, and Z, I could do that now. When I was working a job, I wasn't able to do that. So, as much as you are on social media and you got a phone and you got internet, you should be able to have your business. What am I talking to you on? Internet, right? And a phone. Why are you not connecting in and tuning in? I'm just saying. Stop shortchanging yourself. Educate yourself. Connect with me. I'm ready to help more people. I want more people to be able to say, you know what? I don't have to worry about the struggle because I got a backup plan. And stop this thing where you invest in something that's not getting you a return on your investment like some Jordans and Apple. I'm just saying. Invest in something that's going to give you a return on your investment. Why? Because you are worth that investment. Did you hear me? You are worth the investment. So, with that being said, guys, I thank you so much for allowing me to be able to come in and be able to talk to you and to be able to answer those questions and give feedback on the, the, the so many people that connect with me. But I want you to be your best self. I want you to walk in your, in your best life and be able to travel the world. I will be traveling every single month all the way up until next year. God is so good. And I want to show more people how they can do it. So, connect with me. Um, you can send me an email or you could be able to go to my website at inspiredbyvanessa.com, inspiredbyvanessa at gmail.com or inbox me. It's possible. You want it bad enough, you'll make it happen. So, in the meantime, guys, I want you guys to be blessed. 
and make sure you stand on mm -hmm. your faith mm -hmm. and remove all fear. Goodbye. Talk to you later. <laughs>